Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. I honestly feel like I haven't done a makeup tutorial in like forever, but I was getting really inspired to show you guys my everyday makeup routine. It's nothing crazy, but you guys have been commenting on my glow and I want to show you guys how I get it. So without me blabbering on for ages, let's get started. That, I'm, I'm sorry, please excuse the noise in the background. You guys know I just recently moved. My neighbor's houses are still being built, so there's a lot of construction around me. But if you guys wanna get ready with me and see how I got this look, then let's get started. So the first thing I do, I prime my face and lately I've been liking a very light primer, nothing too heavy on my skin. So I'm going to use the MAC Fix Plus Prep and Prime all over my face. Ugh, gotta love this thing. While that sinks in, I'm going to moisturize my lips. This is the Blistex uh, Lip Medics for cold sores, cracked lips, dry lips, all that good stuff. And I'm also going to moisturize my hands. Um, this is the Aro's Argan. It's a body conditioner. I'm just gonna lightly moisturize my hands. And this is strictly because I use the, the beauty blender. And when you obviously rub your hands under water, it gets your skin really, really dry. Now that that has been sitting on my face for a, a minute, we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into our highlight. This is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminizing Moisturizer, and this is in the shade Nude Glow. And I'm just gonna put this on the highest point of my face. I don't want anything super blinding, but I do wanna give my skin a nice glow. So just on the highest points here. And I'm just using my fingers to tap that into the skin. Now, as you guys can see, I do have quite a few dark spots on my skin and I'm having a little bit of a breakout here on my chin on both sides. So I don't really care about covering them up too much in terms of making them go away. Pretty much everyone on the internet has seen me without makeup on my face. You guys know that I have scars. So my biggest issue isn't like covering them up or doing any serious color corrector. I'm pretty comfortable with where my spots are now. My skin is pretty smooth. It's not anything I'm going to worry about. So for me, full coverage is not really my goal. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. And this is what I'm going to be using all over my face. And for anyone who's wondering, this is in the shade 440. I think now that it's winter, it actually looks a little bit dark, but I really don't want to buy another shade. So <laughs> we're going to fix it with concealer. I try my best not to use like so much and I'll go in and just spot areas that just need a little bit more coverage and just go over those areas very lightly. To even out my skin tone, I'm just going to go ahead and conceal my skin. I'm going in with my two concealers. This is the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer and I have them in the shade Fawn as well as Toast. So starting off with the darker shade, this is going to go right up under the eye. I'm getting a few dark circles around my eyes and that's simply because I have not been sleeping very well lately and so this is gonna cover up all of those eye bags and make me look like I'm well rested and actually ready for the day. With that done, I actually go in and highlight, and that's what I use the lighter color fawn for. Now, I've talked about this technique before in one of my previous videos, and I think it was called like this trick will change your life or something or you'll never do concealer the same way ever again. And it's basically just highlighting where you actually need to highlight. Your inner crease line, your under eyes are not supposed to be beaming if you're doing like a natural look. They're just supposed to be covered in terms of dark circles. And then your cheeks are really the highest point of your face. So you go ahead and lighten that area. My skin definitely isn't one shade, but under my eyes isn't either. Now I'm just using my studio. You can't even see the name on this anymore, but it's a BH Cosmetics Studio Pro uh, pressed powder. And this is in the shade it's also wiped off, but I think it's 400 or something. I'll leave it down below. It's the one that I always use anyways. I'm just gonna tap my beauty blender in here and put this under my eyes. 
I do enjoy a little bit of contour. And I actually don't cream contour my skin on a daily basis. That's more if I'm doing a full on high glam. But I just really want some color on my face and that's pretty much it. Once again, this is the Beach Cosmetics Studio Pro Press Powder. And this is in the shade 255. Nothing too precise, but I just want some color on my skin. And I also go, because of the shape of my face, I actually like this area looking sunken in. So I, a lot of people do like the cut crease right here. I'm not a big fan. I enjoy my face looking a little bit more um, contoured around my mouth. I don't know why, I like how it looks. So I'll contour right here, not my mouth and down my jaw. For me, I have very prominent cheek jowls and this is just like down here by the mouth like it's a fat pocket that is really fat so I do like to contour it so it gives me a little bit more structure to my face so I've always enjoyed like a little bit of a darkness right here by my mouth I feel like it really makes my cheekbone stand out and gives me that straight you know look to my face I don't know what I'm saying but yeah Next, we move on to our brows, and the first thing I like to do is just comb them up so I can see where they sit. And I'm just going to be using this ABH Dip Brow Pomade, and this is in the shade Ebony. I'm just going to quickly do this because this is not a brow tutorial, and this video would literally take forever if I take my time. The next thing I'm going to do is conceal them. This is the Sephora Make No Mistake Concealer, and this is in the shade 13. It's called Chloe. And this is what I'm going to be doing to carve out my brows. I feel like it just makes them look so much cleaner. It allows me to make them a little bit more even. And um, I just love how it makes your brows nice and pronounced. Okay, and with that done, I actually set my brow hairs in place using the Essence Make Me Brow um, Brow Mascara. And this is in the shade 02 Brownie Brows. And what I love about this is it also has filling fibers. So if you're someone who has more sparse brows, this will really help to fill that in as well. Or to help you just like, it's almost like a push-up bra for your brows. It's definitely helpful because we are lacking in the brow department. So where your eyeshadow is concerned, for me it's really important to make sure that my eyes are smooth, there's no oil, there's nothing sticky. I don't really wanna use an eyeshadow primer because I feel like it's a little much for every day. So I literally just use my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and this is in the shade Translucent Medium Deep. And this is what I use to cover my eyes. Um, this is my Morphe eyeshadow palette. This is the 35, it says OM, um, some type of medium matte, what is the word? Warm? Sure, we'll call it that. And um, this is one of my favorite palettes. Fun fact, on my YouTube channel, this is actually my backdrop. So I'm just going to go into a few warm shades, taking that same fluffy brush. This one is from BH Cosmetics as well. We're going to go into a nice crease shade. And I've been loving this one right here. It's a nice warm color. So we're going to put that in the inner crease. And once again, I'm not being precise about this. This is just to give me some type of shadow. I'm just going to get a little bit more warmth and color into my eyes and for that I'm using this shade down here at the bottom. It's a beautiful orange matte. We're going to put it exactly where we put the other color and this is just going to add a little bit of that orange warmth. Now I'm not one to use glitter every day but I do love a little bit of shimmer. So this is the Proof is in the Pudding eyeshadow palette by Beauty Bakery. And this is what we're going to use today to bring a little bit of color to our eyes. This one right here, it's called Almond Jelly. It's almost like a rose, like a deep rose shade. It's really, really beautiful. I'm not keeping it down here, I'm bringing it everywhere. And when you go into different areas, it's gonna look like it's four different shades. Going back into that Morphe palette, we're just gonna add a little bit more darkness to the edge of the eyes. And I'm using this shade in the corner. And I'm using this shade in the corner right here. And this is just gonna give you that liner. Woo. Hold on, we got something on our cheek here. Okay. And this is just going to give you a liner effect.
This is the Maybelline New York The Colossal Volume Express. Just a really nice volumizing mascara and we're going to use this to make our eyes look beautiful. In all of my comments, what I hear the most is that my skin looks super, super glowy and I'm definitely here for a good glow. Most of it is natural, as you can see, without any highlight, I'm glowing. But sometimes I do need a little bit of help. This is the Tartis Glow Pro Palette. Yeah, let's so fucking open it. And this is basically what it looks like. I'm just gonna go in with my highlighter, and the one I'm using right now is Stunner. This one right here. It's almost like a like a champagne type of champagne. Is that really not really champagne? I don't know what to call that color, but it's beautiful and this is what we're going to use to highlight our skin i don't use too much i just use enough to give me some shimmer here at the highest points of my cheeks and once again highlight is not supposed to make you look like a freaking disco ball but it's going to just give you a little bit of shimmer <sighs> this palette smells like chocolate and it's making me hungry there you go there's the glow. That's where I get it from. And I'm just going to use just a flat eyeshadow brush and take the same highlight over my nose and my lips. And the inner parts of my face. Whatever highlight I'm using that day, I will also take it to the inner corners of the eyes just to make sure that all of my highlighter looks cohesive. So next I'll set my skin and this is the Makeup Finishing Spray by Scandinavia. I saw Wayne Goss talk about this in a video and I had to get my hands on it. It came in one of my FabFitFun boxes and I've been loving it ever since. Um, so hold your breath ladies. Mm. I get a lot of questions about what I'm wearing on my lips and it's literally always the same thing. If it's like a nice pink lip gloss, it's the same one. This is the Pericone MD um, No Lipstick Lipstick and this is literally like the only thing that I use. It's a pretty sheer gloss, but it's almost like a your lips but better type of gloss and I love it. I'm gonna finish my hair and I'll be right back. I hope you guys loved this tutorial and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in my next one. Bye.